Hey everybody, welcome to Shrek and Donkey Slayers Gaming. I'm your host, Jay Folkarelli89. We are back with MLB The Show. And we are going to do Road to The Show. We have already created our player, so um, let's check it out. Uh, let's check him out, I should say. Um, what I did was just randomly pick a player. Um... Randomly pick a name. I randomly picked the name, so um, that's what happened. So we just got Chanda Aurelia, um, and only because the the audio will show up when they when they name him, um, when the commentators name him and the PA people name him. So that's what we did on that aspect. Um, <clears throat> gave him the number eight. Um, Game, he's going to be a left fielder. His secondary position is first base, throws left, bat switch. Um, we did his appearance. Uh, oh, we actually didn't do his gloves. We can do that right now. Um, so you go to the edit menu. You do randomize glove. Randomized bat. Give him some batting gloves. Leave tape. Eyewear. We can give him eyewear. Oh. Always. Never. Eye black. Now we'll give him some eyewear, some cleats. Don't need the catching gear. So yeah, here he is, Aurelia, Chandler, Aurelia. Um, so what happened, you basically, this year you actually uh, go to scouting training first. Um, this is actually all on, um, we did it live on Twitch, so, um, you can actually, that is archived for a little bit on Twitch, so if you want to check that out, um, that experience, you can check that out on our Twitch channel, um, at Sads Gaming, um, check that out, so you go to scouting, um, you get scouted by the players, you do, um, a fielding test, and... Let's say you do a fielding test and you do a hitting test, and then you play the um, and then you play two scouting games, um, which I thought last year was three, but this year I guess was two, um, and they give you a rating. I was in the middle of the pack in terms of draft. You actually have the choice to choose what your favorite team is, or you can enter the draft. <coughs> I was drafted by the Chicago White Sox. Um, I was drafted by the Chicago White Sox. Um, and then you also have another option. You can actually go back to college for so, ma so, many, ma so many amount of years. Um, you have all these choices. If you even want to get picked by the, the Chicago White Sox, you can go later in the year to try to improve um, where you go. Um, I decided to enter the NF to be drafted by the um, the Chicago White Sox, so that's cool. We did play a few games yesterday. Um, 
as we continue to play our player um, to build our player um, cancel let's see so proceed the changes um, here's something new as of last year the 920 29 appearances you can see I'm hitting 211 uh, no home runs one RBI um, this is kind of new. The plate performance and the game log is new as of last year. Then they give you the uh, standings, I believe. No, career stats versus teams. Career stats. Um, and you also have league, home. <clears throat> what was the thing I wanted to show you? League. Looking for training. Oh, training and perks. Um, so this is where you can edit. This is where you gain uh, points. Um, I'm about to shut this uh, sound of the shows off. Check this out quick because I'm getting irritated by the... Uh, It actually works without the music. I don't think I can even change it, so we gotta keep on hearing this. Um, I think I gotta back out of it, so I don't want to go into any other screens. So, yeah. This is where you're going to edit your team in the training and perks. We're going to do that right now, actually. Um, right now, he's at 46% with contact. Um, I like to be pretty balanced, so there you go. It's pretty balanced. Or plant vision, I can put a point in. So my overall rating right now is at 54%. Alright, so we're going to play our game now. Play next to parents. Here on the left, we actually have a training session available. This option will only be available for one day. So we're going to enter training. This is to get extra points. Uh, this was as the last two years. Um, so that's pretty cool. So we'll check that out. 60, 150 points for gold. Um, so we'll check that out. Um, struggling in the beginning, actually. Um, it could be a good phase that uh, the game has gotten a little more difficult um, <clears throat> for us. Um, in the past, it's been pretty hard, actually. I didn't even remember putting um, glasses on. I guess I missed that. So I guess you get 10 chances. That was 100 points right there. Count, they count you on your reaction. Um, and away you throw the ball. It's a great reaction on that. <clears throat> Good throw decision.
Caught that one off. That was good. Uh, now they have, on the diamond, they have where you can throw it. Sometimes I've gotten confused on uh, where I'm supposed to throw it uh, in this game because everything's like backwards when you play Diamond Dynasty. So that's kind of cool. Right now I'm at 390 points. <laughs> 405 on that one. 505. Now I'm in the bronze category. So I actually completed it. Completed the mission. Now I just try to get as better as I can. Great reaction. The other hundred points that puts me into silver at six thirty five. And I'm in the gold at six sixty five. Be careful because you can lose points uh, if you make a mistake. So uh, fly ball out, good throw. Run around third is the situation. If I throw it to the wrong person, your best is to throw it to your cutoff man is the best ideal um, way to do it is throw it to that cutoff man uh, just probably if you're playing on the PlayStation 4 it's L1 um, <clears throat> you'll keep a note of that one a good reaction on that one Nine hundred and ten points. We're also be playing more Diamond Dynasty, and uh, Monday today is Friday, April first, April Fool's Day. By the way, to so make sure you don't uh, do too many pranks that will get you in trouble. Um, but here on Monday, the season does start. Actually, opening opening day, opening season. Uh, it's usually going to be Sunday night. I'm not sure who the opponent is, but the Red Sox do play on on uh, Monday. Um, I believe it's actually during the day. So congratulations, you earned a gold medal for this training session. Your performance was exceptional. As a result, you have unlocked the next difficulty level of the training mode and have been awarded 200 training points. And this is uh, <clears throat> your results on each play that you did. Um... So, yeah. Definitely gets a lot more difficult um, as they progress on that. So, we'll get into the game. The new thing that's actually pretty cool is actually you don't have to go to the um, this main menu anymore. You can just continue to go to play game after game just by pressing next game, which is pretty cool. Um, so, they have me at cleanup again uh, today. The Barons do. So, let's go in the cleanup position. Still looking for my first home run of the season. Just a plug, if you haven't yet, this will be archived on YouTube. Check out YouTube, Shrek and Donkey Slayers Gaming. Don't forget to smack that um, subscribe button. Also, check out our Twitter page, Sads Gaming One. Check it out. Give us a follow. That's where we let you know when we go live. And also, check out our twi um, our Twitch page as well, which we are streaming live right now. Twitch. Check it out. And also our Facebook page, Shrek and uh, Shrek and Donkey Slayers Gaming. Also, more info on when we go live and broadcast on both. What's Check it all out. To win this series opener, Steve? And everybody that okay, is our, that has been subscribed to us, thanks again. Um, thanks everybody for watching. For uh, much appreciated. I will be doing Eric some more launched. stuff on yeah, Maddie, um, last Batman Arkham Knights. Um, 
That is moving along pretty quickly. I'm pretty happy about that. But I'm most excited for this game. So you're going to be seeing a lot of gameplay on this. Hope you like it. Um, here I go at my first at bat, and I have a man in scoring position in the first inning. Over the 200 mark here in April. And let's see what happens. Here's the pitch. Hit hard on the ground to the second. Over to his left. And I ground out to the second baseman on that one. Um, actually, I want to show you one more new feature, and then you do play-by-play. -play. Here's my second at bat in the third inning. Right now, the game is tied 1-1. The new thing that has been added to this game is um, this little feature. It's called Showtime, which actually slows down the position. Um, so it can be more dramatic, more cinematic. Um, I'm not a fan of it though, so you probably will not be seeing a lot of it. Uh, you can do it defensively and offensively. There hasn't been a whole lot of setting guys up here in this inning. He's just trying to get himself back into that dugout as fast as he can. This is hit the other way. Is that a base hit? Will that drop? No, it won't, and that's an out. So I do get 12 points, training points on that one. Three innings complete, all tied at one and one. So I'm 0 for 2 today in this game. 0 for 2. Here's my third at bat. I must be DH today, and I am DH. That's why you're only seeing my at bats. By the way, my team is leading 2 0. I have a man in scoring position with two outs. This is a base hit. Will this send some home? Around third and being waved on home. Oh, and he botches it. The runner from second crosses the plate. It's now three to one. And there's my double solid contact and a base hit in the RBI. That's my oh, second RBI. Is. You don't mind seeing this Marcus. quite as much with the bases okay. empty, but this one's going to cost them a run. It's my second RBI of my career as a double A person makes a three-one game. Base thanks to an error in his last at bat. This one, the manager will actually tell you when to steal. Actually, telling what you should do. What um, actually put the writing in. Um, it kind of gets confusing after a while. Uh, to, if you don't know what you're doing, you can see return, advance, um, R1 to extend the lead. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air, down the line, in left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. So two runs on three hits, one error in the inning, and one man left on. Five innings complete. The Barons are out in front here, three to one. So we're up three one in this day, end of the fifth. Chandler here is my fourth at bat. Right here, so we're leading three four three. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a ball. Is that another base hit? It is. And that'll get down for a base hit. Multi-hit game. I'm starting to pick up the pace now. Now batting. First base. Marcus Efting will step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances, but he could make up for all of that with a base hit right here. Here comes <coughs> the 0-2 pitch. Pops this one up. Garlobo on the move, and that retires the side. No runs. A two outs, two hitting, running on contact. Coming up. Birmingham leads this thing. So right now we are actually trailing this game in the ninth with two outs. So it's all on me to to win this. Oh. Pop fly to lose the game. You know, it's never easy to go out on the road and win any game. So that was a great effort by them in every phase of the game. So I trail the lose the game against game Tennessee Smokies. Winds up a slim one run victory in the end as we get go two for five though on the score. day. 
And fellas, as always, a few guys we could have chosen from, but out of everybody, that's the man who stands out in my book. So we These will move on to the, the game. next game. This is the best yeah, part. Play next game. Part of this victory. You see there, four RBIs for him in the ball game. He came through when they needed him to. And now I can check out my training points right from this. I have 249. So that just about does it. For EK, Psycho, and the crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, get those smartphones and tablets out and head over to the showNation.com. The Smokies win it five to four. Thank you for good night, everybody. And we remind you to please drive home safely. We're gonna apply that. And we stay at 55%. We press options to advance. MLB The Show's coverage of minor league baseball is on the air as we continue our tour around the minor league. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Tennessee Smokies and the Birmingham Barons. It's baseball. It's the show. So, so far, I've played every play game. Next. have been playing the next last three games as a DH. And now we'll look at the starting lineup for the visitors in this one. Thoughts, EK? Anyone stand out? Chandler DHing again. Will get his <coughs> so I'm batting here. at 250 Two now. In five trips a night ago. Bases loaded, no outs. Got a chance to score some RBIs here. First offering on its way. Tap Knuckle curve. Plate. 85 miles an hour. Knuckle curve. A one count. Here's the pitch. On the ground is short. This could be Double two. play. The second for one. On the first. And it is Double one play. run will the score. Run of the ball game is across to score. Well, you know, nothing kills a rally quite like a double play ball. But this is a double whammy. You've got a double play with the bases loaded and nobody out. They do get one run here. So 0 for 1 on a ground out. Aurelia will dig in. Here's my second at bat. He's set. Here it comes. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Pitch out. Leadoff man aboard here in a 1 1 ball game. He's running towards second. A pitch out. The throw. Short hop, and he's there just before the tag. Yeah, and you figure if you guess right on a pitch out, you're going to throw the guy out nine times out of ten. But even though they sniffed this one out and the throw's not all that bad, they still can't get him at second base. I'm up 3 0 here. 3 0 now. Green light here on 3-0. Oh. Yeah, I want my run producer swinging the bat. It's my number seven hitter. Probably not. Takes this the other way to right. And that's in there. Base hit. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with nobody Solid out. contact. It's just picture perfect right there. You know as a hitter that you're going to want to make sure you hit it to the right side to get that runner to third base. But if you do it well enough, you get yourself a base hit to go along with it. Check it out. He, he lets this pitch get almost past him, but then he manages to still get good contact. And Marcus Efting is into the box. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. And this is a big time strikeout situation. Well, men on the corners now, no outs. The same result, Not no bad. About it. Ground ball to second. This could be two. To second for one. Back to first. So they get the double play, but the run does come in to score. Now batting. Well, wow, you know, it looked like they might have had a big inning brewing here with first and third. Put into a double play there. Here's my third at bat, single in the fourth. Have an opportunity to get some runs in. Yeah, and just another simple single to the outfield here would be big for these guys. It could score two. From the stretch. It swung on and hit in the air. Catch is made deep in the alley, and here comes the runner from third. And add a run on the sacrifice, sacrifice fly. fly. Do I get points on that? Do get the well, RBI sack fly, 12 points. With Miguel Cabrera, Chris Davis, but with the runner on third, he doesn't have to hit the ball out of the ballpark. 
Just has to get one deep enough out there to deliver that run from third. That's nice. Here is my Chandler fourth at bat. Digs in to lead off the bottom of the eighth inning. Well, my team is up seven to one. Lifted in the air out to right. Valentin has it in his track. Fly to right field. First out of the inning. Solid contact, but then out. First baseman. Well, you always hope to get a good outing. And that from is the ball game for this one. So we do win seven to one. Do get a base hit and a couple RBI. Game. Actually, one RBI. Yeah, he wound up turning things over to his bullpen in the ninth, but still, eight strong innings for him. He was hitting his spots all game long. One and three for an RBI. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. So we'll play next game. I'm now hitting at 259. 27 at bat, seven hits, three RBI. It's not bad. At MLB the show. The Barons come out on top. Advance. We'll move on to game two. The stars of tomorrow get their shot in the limelight three. today as the show's coverage of the Southern League is on the air. Ought to be a good one here. Between be the on the Tennessee lookout for more Smokies Arkham Knight from me Bears. as well. It's uh, that will be, show, I believe, part four of that next. as well. Thank you very much for watching. We appreciate all that you do for us. Time now to give you a look at the keep watching and we will keep squad. producing What's some great content for you guys evening, hope you're enjoying right now the really MLB the show 16 which has released was released away, on Tuesday that way you can string together a few hits to put up some crooked numbers in this game Rudy Dajanaeus a right-hander from the Keystone State gets Rudy Dajanaeus what do you have for us on him I'm um, DH again in this game. I'm three for eight in this series with two RBIs. Aurelia, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. This is where he's so comfortable hitting righties so far this year really well, hitting over 300 on the year. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw uh, might have been in time, but it's high, and it allows his man to dive in safely. Well, here's a situation where he's trying to do what he can to get that run back in the bottom of the first. And he helps out the cause by swiping second here. One out and a runner on second base. Whoa, and he lays man. off for ball one. He took second fairly easily. Any thought of third base here? I, I don't think so. You've got a good hitter at the plate. A single is probably all he needs. I'd let him try to drive you in. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Lattimore is there. Two down. Fly out to right on that one. See what I get for points. Chance Four to points. Take a look at how the home team lines up in this one. Who stands out to you, EK? Well, Matt, I'm going to be looking to see if that guy in the seven spot can stay hot. He's been working on a five-game hit streak, and I expect him to be aggressive at the plate as he looks to extend it. Here is my second at bat. Flew out in Williams. the first. Set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. And right here is an important time for them to climb back into this one. They definitely want to even this one up sooner rather than later. Drilled on the ground to short to his right field. And a low throw to first. That Rounded out to short. Hang on. Looks like there's an error on the play, so I do make the base. These are the tough ones for a first baseman. If this bounces a little sooner, it's not that tough of a scoop, but... Marcus Efting is into the box for his second appearance. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Well, at least he was able to get it into the outfield. And that's more than most of his teammates can say so far. No this is a cold strike. The throw. Oh, and the throw is in and out of the glove. Okay, well, second steal, okay jump, so I get my first steal. And I think it has to start out there on the mound with maybe the guy holding on to the ball a little bit longer or showing a couple different looks because they've been reading him like a book so far. Has to be thinking strikeout here, right side. And taking it out there for the first out. So I'm at third base now with one out Logan in the fourth. Stands in. He's Try to get on the board. Grounding out. Yeah, but this time, if he can just put the ball on the ground again, he's going to have a good chance at an RBI because right now the infield's playing back. The 0-2 home. 
Comes with a slider there as it's lifted down the line and left. Hahn has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And even with two away now, that ball just... Now to the plate, Forrest Cassidy. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Swing and a looper to left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this we one don't away. Score the run. That ends the inning. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. Thursday night baseball rolls on. We'll have more after this. They're actually hitless so far in this game. Chandler Three nothing Arulia now in the sixth. Will stand in and he, like so many others, hitless in the ball game so far. Well, we've been talking about it a lot, but this offense is just getting shut down right now. We've seen some really fantastic pitching in this one. 0-1, here's the pitch. Gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Right Got a base hit the down the middle. Yes, it is. Through for his first base hit in this one. Well, that base hit is going to get his hit streak to six so games now, so he's swinging it. On a six-game hitting streak now. Marcus Efting will try it again. 0 for 2 with a fly out and a ground ball thus far. Well, guys, if you split the difference between the fly ball and the grounder he's put in play, you've got a nice line drive. So maybe we'll witness that right here. Lifted in the air to center. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. Looked like he got a fairly good read on this ball. You see him try to time his leap here, but it's just out of his reach in center. Once it's by him, this turns into an easy double. Logan Alvarado will step in now. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. Hit out towards second. And the two out threat will and not come strand, to pass as the inning is over. Two Make people on second and third. Innings as he continues to give them fits out there. We're through six full. The Smokies lead it three to nothing. Chandler Aurelia will dig in now and he'll do so representing the tying run. He is my fourth at bat, man on first. This guy jumping the yard on you here and tying the ball game. But if he does find a way to get on base, things get a whole lot more interesting. First pitch of the at bat. Now a hard liner towards short. Oh, and he misses it. And they'll wind up with no play here as he reaches first safely. Get the base and hit on that, I do. Just beat the throw to second. He's in there. Well, this one's going to go as an infield single, and it keeps the inning rolling right here. Now, as you see, he tries to rush this ball over to second base, hoping to get the force. So a pivotal no outs, man on first and second. Marcus Efting, but a single here could reduce the deficit to only one. Uh, and you know, sometimes guys get caught up in thinking about being the big hero. The key here, though, is just keep it simple. See the ball, hit the ball. Usually the best results oh. come with that mindset. Only play to first, so the sacrifice works that time. Oh, with man, the second on the bunt. Play right there. That ball was rolling, and it stayed low, so he had to bend all the way over to make a barehanded grab, then a quick release, a nice throw to first in time to get the runner. You can expect to see that on highlight reels for a couple days at least now. So stepping in, number nine, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. So we can tie this up here. To the right side, did he get it through? He did, it's in to right, a base hit. And to score is the runner from third. It's now a three to two contest. Took him a while to pick up that first hit of the ball game, but he made it count as he was able to drive in the run on the RBI single. So striding in, number four, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Off 
On the ground to the left side. One there, but they won't oh, get two as he beats the relay to first. The tying run. And with one away, they were hoping to get the double play up the middle to get him out of this. But they wind up only getting one on the play as that run comes home to score on the field of choice. So a big moment in the ball game here. Chandler Aurelia as he'll look to get the ball into the outfield and bring home what would be the winning run from second base. The best thing you can do can right win it here. is just keep it simple. Look for something to hit and think middle of the diamond. Now a line drive into right field. It's a base hit. Around third and being waved on home. And they're going to walk Defense. off with a 4 Walk off victory. win. They had the walk off hit. You know, they came into this bottom of the ninth inning knowing that they needed just one run to make it official. And they come through big time here to send this crowd home happy. <clears throat> and you're on the player of the game. Tightly contested ball game here, so it makes it hard to find our top player of the game. But I think this fella right here would seem to be and the I logical am. choice. Yeah, he was a thorn in their side all game long. You'll see there he winds up with a three-hit ball game, and a couple of those were key three hits hit game. lead his guys to victory. All righty, everybody. So Thanks for watching. Um, everybody for watching this we will continue with this series of road to the show here as we end it on a good note walk off walk off win for Chandler Aurelia thanks everybody for watching don't forget to sub to us smack that subscribe button here on YouTube follow us on Twitch um, thanks everybody for watching be on the lookout for more Arkham Knights also more MLB the show and for my co-host Goodman Leor he will continue the Uncharted series we'll also have some Destiny in the near future maybe some Smite and potentially um, shout out Saturday but if not uh, we'll let you know on our Twitter page and our Facebook page if we will be doing that um, thanks everybody for watching and as always, happy gaming.